Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This video is especially for those students who are doing PhD in India or if you are also doing PhD in France, this video is useful for you because you have an opportunity to apply for Raman Chapak Fellowship. This is a very prestigious fellowship and uh, like it is specifically provided for Indian and French uh, like PhD scholars so that they can do exchange program during their PhD. Uh, like Indian students, those who are enrolled in Indian university, they can go to French university and spend like four or five months over there, learn new techniques from there. Same goes for French students, they can come to India and learn techniques from here. So basically, it's an exchange program. It is uh, highly uh, prestigious. So if you are looking for something during your PhD, you want to uh, get some uh, like foreign exposure or uh, exposure of a abroad university, this is a very good opportunity to apply for. So I'll be telling you each and everything which you need to know before you apply for Raman Chapak Fellowship 2025. The application is out. This is the website. I will give you links so that you can reach out to this page directly. The page is in French and English both. You can change the language to read it in English in case if it looks French for you. So this program is intended to develop to strengthen Indian French or Indo-French scientific cooperation to close collaboration between Indian and French laboratories and it can be done year like minimum two to six months and the field of study like these are the subjects that you can apply for. So if you belong to atmospheric sciences, earth sciences, environmental sciences, material science, physical science, chemical science, engineering science, biological science, life and medical sciences, mathematical and computational sciences, then you can basically apply for it. Basically almost all the subjects coming under STEM. Okay. Eligibility to apply for it is that applicants from India must be Indian citizen in uh, who is residing in India and who have registered for PhD in a recognized university or a research institute in India. So you should be a research scholar in India. Okay. Second thing is that if you are from France, then you should be registered for PhD in French university or institute in France. Then you should already have a master's degree. Of course, if you are doing PhD in India, you will be having a master's degree and your master should be in science, technology or medicine. All right. Maximum age. So this is the age limit. 30 years should be your age, not more than 30 years. And students once supported by uh, CEFI PRA, which is this own fellowship. Uh, then in that case, uh, they can also uh, also in the framework of CEFI PRA projects. The student who have permanent position in institution universities are not eligible. So if you have already uh, got this fellowship once in your lifetime, uh, then you cannot apply for it. Okay. So if you have applied, but you were not selected for it, you can again apply for it. But if you have already awarded with this uh, with this particular fellowship, then you cannot apply for it. Okay. So the next is that the applicant should have pre uh, authorized for prior consent from his her institute. To apply for foreign uh, fellowship program so you should have the authorization from your uh, your pi your principal investigator or your supervisor okay what are the benefits which you are going to get so for an indian fellow fellowship of 1500 euro per month for the daily expense local travel and accommodation charges plus social security charges will be given for a french fellow uh, amount of 40,000 per month for daily expense and same thing so a french student who is coming to india they will be provided with 40,000 rupees. Uh, then you will also get one return airfare ticket in economy class between India and France. So your travel expenses are also taken care. Your insurance coverage is also taken care. So in case if you don't know wherever you go in abroad, Europe or US, you need to have insurance, travel insurance and health insurance. Both are basically covered here. Uh, it is a big amount if you try to pay from your end. Okay, but it is also covered under the fellowship. Any administrative cost for visa and registration that is also covered and uh, then additional support up to Euro 500 for Indian fellows and equivalent support for in Indian rupees for the French uh, French fellows. So any additional support is basically provided. No support will be provided for family members during the fellowship period. So it's not like that you can take out your family as well along with you. No, you cannot do that. Let's talk about what are the requirements. So the requirement is that you should have a proposal and which should be in English. Okay, that is very important. Now you need a detailed description of research project up to five pages stating the title of the research work with an explanation of how you are planning that work uh, that is going to benefit you in your uh, like 
during your stay in the proposed institute so basically it's like if let's say you are working in material sciences so you have to write a proposal that how that work whatever work you're planning a research work uh, how that is going to be useful if you do it from france okay if you do it from a particular institute of france so how is that going to help you now of course a writing of your own is not going to help so this fellowship works like this that first of all you should contact someone first of all ask from your supervisor okay whether he is ready to allow you for this or not so that's the step number one ask your professor that whether you can apply for it or not in most of the cases they will agree for it okay then uh, you need to find a host in france so you have to email to different professors in france from your own field and ask them that you want to apply for a raman Chapak fellowship and you want to join their lab and also tell them that what idea of work that what you want to do so if they are ready to take you or if they have position to host you in that case they will themselves discuss with you that what proposal they can come up with so you both you and your host professor they are going to talk like you guys have to talk and discuss that what work you are planning to do over there okay so you should have some initial plan but the overall plan they are going to tell you and that's how mostly it works and that's how you have to and that's what you have to write down in five pages you have to also mention a title of that research work then uh, you should have candidate must have enclosed the following documents what are those documents you should have your cv up to three pages with recent photograph summarizing your achievement your research interest list of relevant publications and all a letter of recommendation from the phd supervisor okay your phd supervisor a letter of recommendation and agreement from the proposed supervisor uh, in the fellowship lab so that is the host lab so if you are indian and you are applying in france so a letter of recommendation from a french lab or from a professor in that french lab uh, they are going to give you a, a red letter of recommendation then you need a phd synopsis or a short summary of your phd work so far whatever you have done a short synopsis of that research experience letter uh, or publication as proof so if you have publications then that they will be a, a your proof or if you do not have a publication in that case research experience will work as your research experience letter will, will will work as your proof or if your research paper is under review it is not yet published or it's under preparation in that case you can apply for you can submit a research experience letter then you also need a no objection objection certificate from the head of institution so the institution in which you are working right now you need a noc that is no objection certificate that they don't have any objection if you go to france and you do some part of your phd over there okay you need a scanned copy of your highest degree which will be your masters and your scanned copy of your phd registration letter so the phd registration letter will tell you that you are registered in phd basically your admission letter okay if you have a scanned copy of that a scanned copy of your passport from both front and back and a recent photograph so all these things are required when you are applying for this particular fellowship uh, there are a few points mentioned that the proposal document must be uh, must respect the length indicated above it's strongly encouraged to apply early for timely processing rather than towards the end of the deadline it is i am also expecting you to do that last date is 10th of december so try to apply as early as uh, possible so you have october november like two months already you have so try to apply within these two months before the end of or do not go to the end dates okay just try to apply as early as possible now you if what after watching this video get to know about it from tomorrow onwards just talk to your supervisor about it okay don't wait for it then the host institution uh, or the university indian university applicant must be in france and vice versa basically a french student will go to india and an indian student will go to france so that's what they are telling the applic if the application is successfully submitted candidate should not apply again so if you have already submitted you should not apply again and again okay so just once you can do that uh, to apply this is the website where you can go and apply this video you can watch for more details if you want and uh, yeah this is about the website no, now let me just take you to the website so this is the website again same information are given over here uh, what are the target groups and all the things given in short over here if you want you can read uh there is a thing called as guidelines over here okay if you click on this you will be able to download a pdf file which tells you about all the guidelines required for it so all the information which i have given is in short over here uh, fellowship support and all these things we have already discussed 
eligibility i have already discussed with all these things with you so yeah maximum age should be 30 years as on 1st of april 2025 so you should not be more than 30 years on this day like after 1st of april your age should not be more than 30 years okay uh, then uh, yeah application procedure we have already discussed application procedure and document required we have already discussed uh, prescribed format so formats are given to you like what are the documents required and how you have to name them to upload that's what it is mentioned okay so on 29th of september this application is launched uh, the deadline is 10th of december screening of the document will be done in january and february 2026 evaluation will be done in february and march 2026 and results will be declared by the end of march 2026 or starting of april 2026 tentatively and then once the uh, like results are declared then they are going to start the fellowship okay this is the whole thing about ramang chapak fellowship guidelines and important instructions are given to you i hope that i have covered most part of it if you want you can read about it more this is the website these are the telephone numbers on which you can call and ask if you have any specific details to ask okay if you have any other questions or any other queries about it you can ask me in the comment sections below and uh, that's it from my side for this particular video i hope this is clear to you and i would highly highly encourage if you are in phd this is one of those chances where you can go abroad have a experience of uh, you know working in different or international lab and it is definitely going to help you to build up your cv if you are planning to stay in academia for uh, like for long okay so highly recommended from my side please talk to your supervisor and do the needful that's it from my side for this video i will see you in the next until then have a great day bye bye take care